All right, troops. Welcome to the video, Electric Forest, the Silent Symphony of Trees, recorded during the 25th of October 2022's solar eclipse. And if you enjoy the information in this video, please remember to subscribe, comment on the video, and like. These actions by you will help our videos rank in the algorithm. Thank you. Now listen to this in the hushed stillness of the cosmos. When the moon momentarily veils the sun, Earth's living tapestry responds in kind. The solar eclipse of October the 25th, 2022, though fleeting, orchestrated a profound yet silent symphony within our forests, revealing the intricate sensitivity of trees to celestial rhythms. As you guys know, solar eclipses are rare alignments that cast transient shadows over Earth's surface. This leads to abrupt changes in light intensity and temperature. Unlike the gradual transition of dawn and dusk, eclipses impose sudden environmental shifts, challenging the adaptive mechanisms of flora. While animal reactions to eclipses have been documented, birds quieting their songs, nocturnal creatures stirring, the botanical world has remained largely enigmatic in this context. Psychological responses, a dance of light and shadow, Research into plant responses during eclipses have unveiled significant psychological changes. For instance, studies on Big Saybrush during the 2017 total solar eclipse revealed a marked reduction in photosynthesis and transpiration rates this attributed to the sudden drop in sunlight and temperature. These changes disrupted the plant's circadian rhythms, highlighting their reliance on consistent environmental cues. Similarly, observations of oxalis plants demonstrated that their leaves, which typically fold to conserve water under intense sunlight, open during the eclipse's darkness, only to close once again when sunlight returned. This behaviour underscores the plant's immediate response to light changes independent of their internal clocks. Beyond physiological shifts, trees exhibit bioelectric responses to eclipses. A study monitoring spruce trees during a solar eclipse found that they synchronised their bioelectric activities, anticipating the eclipse hours in advance. Older trees displayed more pronounced antiseptory behaviours, suggesting a form of collective memory and communication within the forest communities between the trees. The paper published in the journal Royal Society Open Science reports the extraordinary reaction of an Italian mountain forest to a partial eclipse on October the 25th, 2022. Electrical signals inside spruce trees began to pulse in unison with older trees seeming to anticipate the eclipse hours before it happened. This unorthodox research, and it may challenge what some readers think about trees, it is legitimate work conducted by experts in plant communication and published in a peer-reviewed journal of the Royal Society. Researchers for the Italian Institute of Technology attached electrodes to six Norway spruce trees and the results were absolutely astounding. The trees were different ages, ranging from young saplings to individuals over 100 years old, allowing the team to compare how age might influence bioelectric responsiveness to the eclipse. As the eclipse approached, electrical signals from different trees began to align, their waveforms became more similar in shape and timing. This synchronisation peaked during the eclipse and gradually diminished afterward. Older trees started showing electrical changes earlier, in some cases hours before the eclipse began, while younger trees responded later and more weakly. The researchers interpreted this as a coordinated response to a large-scale environmental event, possibly involving communication or shared signalling pathways by the trees. 
The idea that trees may talk to one another is core to the burgeoning field of plant communication. Since the 1990s, a growing body of research suggests that trees form symbiotic relationships with fungi, creating vast underground networks called the Wood Wide Web. Is that not extraordinary? The Wood Wide Web? Through these networks, trees exchange nutrients, water, and even chemical signals. They also reportedly recognise their own young and give preferential treatment to their own kin. So during this eclipse, the Wood Wide Web was observed in action. Understanding how trees and plants respond to sudden environmental changes like solar eclipses offers insight into their resilience and adaptability. These findings can inform broader ecological studies, especially in the context of so-called climate change, where abrupt weather events are becoming more frequent, apparently. Recognising the subtle cues that influence plant behaviour is crucial for conservation efforts and forest management strategies. The solar eclipse of the 25th of October 2022 served as a natural experiment, illuminating the profound sensitivity of trees to their environment. Through physiological adjustments and bioelectric synchronization, forests demonstrated a remarkable, albeit silent, responsiveness to celestial events. And as we continue to explore these interactions, we deepen our appreciation for the complex and dynamic relationships that sustain life on our planet Earth. And also, remember the asteroid 2024 YR4? It was assessed earlier this year that this asteroid was on a collision course with planet Earth, and that has since been ruled out. However, this asteroid now appears to be on a collision course with our moon, with Earth's moon, and scientists and astronomers say if it impacts the moon, it will create a crater visible from planet Earth itself. Can you believe that? Described as a city killer asteroid, it was discovered in December 2024 by astronomers and it caught the attention of astronomers due to its size, potential power to cause harm, and its change in its trajectory. James Webb Space Telescope indicated that this asteroid could be the size of a 15-storey building, and this is the reason why it was named the City Killer, since the possible impact could cause a massive destruction in urban areas. Astronomers detected at the time that this asteroid was on a collision course with planet Earth and due to impact in 2032. This has now been eliminated, and astronomers have focused on its trajectory with the Moon, and they demonstrated that, although the risk of this asteroid colliding with planet Earth has been lowered to near zero, now the Moon increased its probability of being collided by 4%. This percentage is much higher than the original 0.5% risk to planet Earth, and these astronomers believe that if it were to crash on the Moon, collide with the Moon, then it would create a crater that would be visible from planet Earth. But what do you guys think about this? Please like this video if you have watched it to the end, comments below, and as always guys, thank you for watching. I'm very excited that today uh, the Royal Society of London is going to publish our work that we've done in a forest in the Dolomites. Um, we created a system uh, which enabled us to monitor by wiring individual trees. We were able to monitor the activity both of the individual trees and the trees as a collective and as a network. And um, what we found was quite incredible and in a way unexpected. Uh, we had an eclipse event passing through the site while we were recording and monitoring the trees and we observed uh, something that we see in animals uh, but never seen before in plants, uh, a synchronization behavior. So all the trees that we were monitoring 
ended up having the same behavior and the same bioelectrical signature coming out during the eclipse uh, event. The interesting thing about this is that the older trees, when we looked at the data more closely, the older trees were the ones that send, started the signal first, or the changing in behavior, 14 hours before the eclipse even arrived. And they were the ones that sent the message to all the others, especially the younger one, that potentially never experienced an event of this kind, and allowed everyone to synchronize as one. So we went from individual trees to see the activity of the forest as a one entity. And then everyone came back and did whatever they wanted after the eclipse was done. The other important thing was that this signal was coming from the older trees to the younger ones, which without being, being warned of an event like an eclipse, might have been suffering from hydraulic dysfunction, which means that they could have potentially dehydrated and died of thirst. So this is a very remarkable example of the wood wide web in action. And um, we think that it's going to inspire new science in this direction, but also has very deep ramification on how we deal with conservation and also it reinforces the idea that the older trees cannot simply replace by replanting, but they need to be protected because they hold ancestral memories that allow for resilience and adaptation in a, in a state of uh, climatic change.